right, good morning, moms and dads. Here's Bonnie Leota and Thomas Leota. Here we are with day 50 of the 90 Day Parenting Challenge. And today we're talking about entertaining our children. Do you ever feel like you get burnt out or exhausted trying to keep your kids busy and entertained? Well, I used to before I learned this valuable lesson. So, Tom, what do kids need rather than entertainment? They need the ability to actually tap into their own imagination. If you would like to cripple them so they just sit there like a bump on a log, make sure that you feel that you need to entertain them. I got to bring all these things and keep them for this, 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 and this, and they just sit there and wait for you to actually stimulate them. So the best thing you can do is ask them, we're going to go here, what's something that you would like to do? And then zip it. I don't know. I don't know either. That's why I asked you. Think about it for a minute. I'll be right back. So they have an awkward silence, which is what they're going to be experiencing at the time to be quote unquote entertained. Now, if they sit there and wait for you to show up every time, they won't be able to do anything on their own when you're not there. But beginning to let them struggle a little bit. Um, play with my ball? Great. Which one are you going to bring? And you begin the cycle. So when they get there and they said, I'm bored. Great. Congratulations. What's the opposite of that? Well, being entertained. Who can actually entertain themselves? And when we stop doing it for them, and they can start to do it for themselves, that's when the magic becomes, because every parent is sick and tired of being sick and tired of feeling that they have to entertain their children. And what are you gonna do when they're 18? Exactly. Start now, and you'll be glad that you did. Back to you, Bonnie. Yeah, awesome. This is so powerful because we don't want to be crippling our children, right? We want them to learn how to think for themselves and we want to engage their imagination because it's truly uh, burning desire to be, do, and have things that wakes people up, that makes them feel alive and empowered and joyful. So down below, what we want you to do is share a story of uh, when you got out of your comfort zone and you allowed your child to struggle on their own to uh, entertain themselves, all right? We want to hear from you below. We love hearing your comments. We look at everyone personally, and we'll see you tomorrow, day 51.